Your Excellencies, dear colleagues. First, I wish to thank UNESCO, the UK, Norway and Ghana for convening this meeting. Finland fully supports the declaration, bringing education, training and innovation at the center of building back better, greener and more inclusive societies. Human capital is the most valuable asset any nation can have, and yet the cost of learning losses due to COVID-19 may rise up to 10% of the global GDP. That is why we must ensure that learning continues in all circumstances. Support measures must be guided by equity, equality and inclusion. Girls and vulnerable groups are most at risk at dropping out. Now is not the time to ask if we can afford investing in education. The cost of non-investment will always be higher. Dear colleagues, the world was rapidly changing already before pandemic, constantly shaping the competencies and skills needed in life and work. COVID-19 has only accelerated the call to reimagine teaching and learning. The disruption has made it evident that education systems with flexibility are prone to be more resilient. Flexible systems are more responsive as they may provide more solutions in mitigating standardized exams or entrance practices. They are more able to offer hybrid solutions, which can be adjusted to better suit local and individual needs. Teachers must be supported and empowered. In Finland, the highly educated teachers with a lot of creativity, confidence and auto autonomy have been in central in our resilience during the crisis. Teachers must be able to put an individual learner in focus. To put it short, quality in education is also about resilience. Emergency response needs to be coupled with long-term approach. Policy shifts may be required and they must be based on evidence. Thank you.